And the eighth question is, what makes Indian society unique in sustaining its culture? See, the question is not about how Indian culture is different from other countries. No, the question is not about that one. It's about how unique is India society in sustaining its culture. So we have to discuss those aspects in our culture which have sustained, I mean, which has, which has continued for a long period of time without any break. How are we able to do that? And what in that is unique for India when compared to other nations? So, first, in the introduction, you may spend two or three lines to discuss what culture is. See, culture essentially contains anything like religion, religion, language, dressing style, your food habits, food habits, dance, music, painting, literature, etc. See, the artist, art, artic form like dance, literature, music, painting, similar the language you speak, the dress we wear, the type of food we eat, the religion we follow, all these things fall under the culture. So, now come to, in Indian society, how, what makes us unique in sustaining our culture? See, there are various aspects. Generally, when you read these kind of questions, you will not get any limited answer in the examination. So, you have to brainstorm. So, while dealing in Indian society, one standard book is NCRT 12th class along with 11th class one, Society of India. After that, when there are any news articles in the any newspaper regarding Society of India or culture, you may have to think, ponder over it and sometimes brainstorm with your friends. Now here, some of the points we can think of are, see, many countries have a single language, a single religion or a similar food habit. For them, it is easy to sustain their culture. But for India, having almost 1,650 languages, several religions and diverse food habits, still we are able to sustain all these things. That is one uniqueness in India. So sustaining several languages, several languages, several religions, etc. while still maintaining a national identity and a national unity. That is the uniqueness in India. National unity. Similarly, similarly you can say another unique thing in India's, India's uh, sustained culture is that right from Indus Valley civilization, later on when we are ruled by the Mauryas, then uh, the Kushans, sometimes the Parthians, then Satavahanas, Guptas, and later on Mughals who came from Central Asia, even, even Delhi Sultanates who have come from outside, and then Britishers who came from Europe. So we were ruled almost like by people from different backgrounds and people from different countries. Though we were ruled by different people, they could not essentially erase our culture. Most of their culture is assimilated in Indian culture, but still we are able to sustain our own culture for a very prolonged time. This is another uniqueness of the Indian culture, I mean the way we in the culture. So you can say from IVC to Mauryans, Mauryans to Guptas, in between some foreign, some foreign, you know, like Kushanas, Pardians, and then Mughals, in between Delhi Sultanates, and then British. You can explain how, though people from different cultures came into India and ruled India, they essentially could not erase any of the Indian culture. In fact, if you take Mughals, most of the Mughal rulers, like Akbar, have actually followed more of Indian culture than the culture of their forefathers where they have come from. In that way, they assimilated into the Indian culture. Then you can say, another uniqueness in sustaining Indian culture is that we always maintained kind of cohesion rather than fusion. Similarly, assimilation but not extinction and congruence but not conversion. So these are the important aspects of Indian culture. We coexist. Then you can say that secularism is one of the concepts 
that India is able to sustain for a very long time. Even if you take from Ashoka, from Ashoka Dhamma, how he has maintained tolerance towards different religions, then move on to Guptas, even Satavahanas have respected the Jainism, Buddhism and Hinduism. Then uh, when you take Mughals, Akbar, Akbar has maintained secularism. Similarly, when you come to the constitution of India, presently, constitution of India, preamble, has the word secularism. Similarly, the articles, in the fundamental rights, the articles 25 to 28, talk about secularism. So here we see, secularism is a, is a culture in India, which is sustained right from ancient Ashoka to present times constitution of India. This is another uniqueness in India. Yeah, then see, even you can derive something from 2015 UPSC mains question. There they said, the first question in the exam says that when the Egyptian and Mesopotamian ancient cultures could not be sustained till today, the ancient Indian culture from India's Valley civilization, most of the elements sustained till today. So that are all the UPSC questions. From that you can say that some of the elements of IVC we are maintaining even today. So this kind of sustaining a culture from almost 2,600 years is another unique thing for India. Another unique thing for India. See, 2,600 plus IVC is like 2,900 BC to 1,800 BC. Now we are in 2020. So it's almost like 4,900 years, say 5,000 years. So 5,000 years we are able to sustain a culture which is another uniqueness for India. Then there are some negative aspects of Australian culture also. For example, you can say the some of the elements of your culture like uh, child marriage, superstitions, these things are the negative aspects of culture which are still sustained. Though we are government is trying hard to eliminate them, they are still there mainly because of illiteracy. So we can say illiteracy is one of the reasons for sustaining of some of the negative elements of Indian culture till today. However, we can conclude by saying that there are some cultural aspects which we are able to eliminate. See, we did not sustain all the cultural things of India. For example, take Sati, we eliminate Sati. Sati is abolished and eliminated. Similarly, most of the progressive things have happened in the Indian culture. However, some things like westernization, sastralization, these things have slightly modified the Indian culture. So, you should not just say all elements of culture sustained. There are many elements which have taken a quite, means they have changed a quite. So, with that we can conclude this one. Yes.